please. So about Nucor, we are the number one steel and steel products producer in America. Um, we are definitely committed to safety. Um, in fact, our challenge is uh, becoming the world's safest steel company. And we are the world's largest recycler. And what that means is when you throw your old refrigerator out or your car gets crushed or your old dishwasher or anything made out of steel gets shredded up and thrown into a scrap yard, well, we're taking that and then we're reusing it and we're creating new steel coils that are gonna get made into new cars and new buildings and new dishwashers and new refrigerators and you name it. Um, the world of steel is all around everybody. And when you're not in it, you don't really see it all the time, but it's literally in so many different products that you use every day. Um, as far as, I'm sorry, if you can go back, please. <clears throat> um, so, uh, you see a picture of Ken Iverson right there. He's our founding father. And uh, a lot of the principles that we still use today in our, in our culture were really a result of Ken Iverson. And he joined the company in 1962. He quickly became the president in 1965. And some of his philosophies and contributions are lean management, uh, decentralized decision-making, um, egalitarian work environment, um, intelligent risk-taking and innovation, and in 1989, his, his uh, you know, approach to the business really revolutionized the whole steel industry globally with our first thin slab casting sheet mill, which was built in Crawfordville, Indiana. And that was the first of its kind in the world. People said it could never happen. He didn't listen to them. He did it. And now here we are today. So um, aside from that, you can see some of the other things as far as uh, committed to the team. We have profit sharing every year. Um, we've, we've profit shared with, with teammates over $2 billion overall in, in great years. Like maybe this year we might get a special bonus. So when the company makes a, a lot of money, we share that money back to the teammates. Uh, we have tuition reimbursement so that you and, and even your spouse can continue uh, reimbursement. I'm sorry, education and be reimbursed for it while you're working with Nucor. Um, also scholarships. This is one that means something to me. I have a son who's a senior in high school. And uh, 3,500 per year for all children of Nucor teammates is, uh, is awarded to each child. So that's really a meaningful benefit um, for me personally and for a lot of our teammates. Um, Nucor has been used uh, by Harvard and Dartmouth Business School case studies and numerous others. We uh, finished up Fortune 139 on the list for 2020. And we are included in the best 100 best companies to work for in America and also uh, Business Week top 20 companies in America. Next slide, please. So uh, the new core culture, um, you know, continuous improvement. A lot of people say that and, you know, it, it kind of becomes just this sort of a cliche, but we really, we really do embrace the uh, continuous improvement because it allows us to be better at what we do and it allows us to make more money. You know, one example of continuous improvement that we're always working on is uh, trying to find ways to be more efficient with our ener energy utilization and our water utilization. And we make targets for those every year, along with reducing our waste that goes into landfills. And um, we've been improving those things every single year. So that's something that we're proud of. And it's a good example of that. Taking care of our customers. What does that mean? Of course, anybody in business wants to take care of their customers. But we also consider our teammates, our shareholders, and our communities and people who purchase our products to be our customers. Um, we're involved with quite a bit of uh, community involvement, um, whether that's the East Cooper Community Outreach, the MUSC Children's Hospital, STEM. Um, we have people here who teach local, uh, local elementary school children how to read. Um, we just get involved in the community quite a bit. I Myself, I come out a couple times a year and clean up trash from one of the local boat landings and try to keep it clean and a nice place for us to put our boats in and go fishing. Um, so commitment to employees, um, you know, it means workers excel because they're allowed to fail. What does that mean? Well, we don't just say people do things, you know, the same way just because that's the way it's always been done. You're allowed to be innovative and almost kind of expected to be innovative and try to find better ways to do things to help the company and to help yourself and to help your own pockets at the end of the day. Next slide, please. So again, this is just an overview of the mill. So these are the here at Berkeley County, we actually make sheet steel and we also make beams. 
And back there in the background in the upper left corner, you see the Cooper River. So we actually also operate our own port where we bring in raw materials and we also ship material that goes by vessel to Mexico and Texas and um, up in the uh, Northeast side of the United States as well. So um, these things probably won't mean much to you as far as the melt shop and the galve line, but those are just different products that we make that we supply to our customers. The next slide, please. Um, kind of a busy slide here, but this just shows you our diversity as a company. You know, we have bar mills, sheet mills, we have beam mills, plate mills. Um, the Newcore corporate office is in Charlotte. Um, and then we also have uh, downstream units, um, reinforcing products, buildings group, um, deck, you know, roofing deck and flooring deck companies, cold finish, etc. So there's a lot of opportunity within Newcore. Um, I can you know, as a new core teammate, I can scroll through job listings at any one of these places throughout the country and apply for them based on my qualifications. And all I have to do is get my boss's blessing to do so, which he has never restricted me from applying for any positions. And, um, you know, I, I could uh, have the opportunity to move up. I mean, I could be the CEO. The only person who's limiting me from doing that is myself. So it's really a special opportunity. Next slide, please. Um, you know, this is again, a kind of a busy slide and I would encourage uh, Paige, you know, if you guys could just share this slide deck with anybody who's interested in reading through it. I don't really want to do that. But, you know, just looking at the, the title headlines, egalitarian benefits, you know, the CEOs don't get better treatment than us. We all have the same health care. When we don't make a lot of money as a corporation, their bonuses suffer. So everybody in the team is rowing in the same direction. And you know, when, when times are tough, we all share in the pain together. And when times are good, we all enjoy those times together. Again, we're a teammate driven company. Innovation is in our blood, it's in our DNA. Um, stewardship, you know, we are the largest recycler in North America. Um, and we are you know, always looking for ways to improve our carbon footprint and to just be good be responsible community business people. And we live that every day. Um, you know, the pain sharing, I went through that. And then open communication. You know, we don't, we don't, you know, consider if, you know, the, if the uh, general manager walks into my office right now, he's not gonna treat me like some subject of his, right? We treat each other as equals and we listen to each other and we listen to each other's ideas. And we don't always agree. And sometimes we might have some disagreements about things, but we talk it out and then we eventually decide how to move forward as a team. And that's the way we work. Next slide, please. All right, um, I'm gonna kick this over to Nicole now and just kind of let her tell you about a couple of the opportunities that are out there right now um, at Nucor. And um, Nicole, you wanna take it away? Yeah, thanks Reed. So um, just wanted to go over some of the different opportunities here. Um, you know, we are a, a large company, a large steel maker, but sometimes people just don't know what does that really entail for someone who's graduating from school or someone who's looking for a job. So this slide lists a lot of the different um, administrative jobs that we have at Newport. Not all of these are available right now per se, but these are different um, kind of administrative functions that someone could go into if they had an interest in sales or customer service or finance or IT. Um, so any type of opening that we would have, um, we post our jobs you know, online through um, our corporate like newcore.com page. We've also been using Handshake, um, trying to post jobs there as well. Um, more recently, someone in my office has been working with closely with Paige and some other folks at the Citadel to really push some of these job opportunities out. Um, you know, so students who are graduating or maybe people who've already graduated, but they're looking for a career change. You know, these are some opportunities on the administrative side. Uh, next slide. <clears throat> Another opportunity um, is through our, um, our, we call it our job pool process, but it's for our entry-level production. Um, this is, um, uh, an opportunity that a lot of people are looking forward to. Um, so all of our production operators, we have, in total, we have 950 teammates here. We probably have about 700 production operators. So we have more opportunity on the production side. Uh, and there's a lot of opportunity to grow within the production arena. So you can have someone that is hired through this um, hiring pool 
uh, start off as kind of a utility person and they can quickly move their way up um, you know, through the, the hiring process and the promotion process. Nicole, I just sorry to interrupt you there, but um, I would point out that our uh, CEO was mm -hmm. in operations at Newcore Steel Berkeley. And so it's not uncommon for our leadership people to actually work through the operations. Yeah. In fact, it's the norm. Yeah. No, thanks. Thanks for mentioning that, Reed. So um, our production operators, um, they work a four on four off schedule. Um, they work 12 hour shifts um, and they work days and nights. Um, but we have great benefits. We pay really well. And this is a really great way to kind of get your foot in the door because there is so much opportunity and so much opportunity to grow within the company. Um, again, this lists all different types of jobs that we hire through the, the job pool. Um, and I know re currently we're advertising for job pool. I think with you guys right now, I don't know if we've pulled that down yet. Um, so if there is still some interest, you know, we, we are still looking for some people, um, <clears throat> but the, the process, it's a multi-step process to get hired through the job pool. Um, you'd have to register online. Um, you'd actually come out to the plant to take an online like assessment with us. And um, there's an interview process. And then you're put into a pool of people who are eligible to be hired. Um, and as we have these jobs come available in the mill, our hiring supervisors um, are getting you know a handful of, of applicants from that pool. They're interviewing those applicants um, and then they're hiring directly from that pool. Uh, we don't require any type of manufacturing experience. You know, we're really looking for people that are, are willing to go above and beyond, um, learn some new skills, learn some new trades, um, you know, people who have that teamwork and work ethic. Um, so, um, you know, again, this is an easy opportunity, especially for those people that want to start a career, maybe don't have experience, but you want to, to learn. Um, next slide. Um, and one of the best things about the production um, jobs are is the pay for the production operator. So Reed mentioned this before, but um, Nucor really wants to invest in our team and we do pay people very, very well. Um, our production bonus, our production operators get paid a production bonus based on the amount of steel that is produced in a week. Um, so if those production operators are working hard and producing a lot of steel, the very next week you will get paid a bonus based on how much uh, is made. And it's that kind of instant gratification of you know that you work hard and you'll get paid um, very well the following week. Um, about a third of the production operator's pay is what we would call base pay. And about two thirds of it is the production bonus pay. Um, we say on average, probably right now, someone just starting off um, coming through the job pool um, kind of first year or first full year of, of pay being on that production bonus plan, you're probably making, you know, $75,000, $80,000 a year. Um, and then that's also starting entry level. Uh, so you're kind of starting at the bottom and you still have that ability to, to move up and take on a little more responsibility, uh, which in turn, uh, you would get paid more for that. So uh, great earning potential, especially for those people that, um, uh, like to make money because I know we all do. Uh, next slide. This just goes over benefits in general for all teammates. Um, and like Reed mentioned earlier, our CEO has the same exact benefits as we do. So it is, um, it's nice to know that certain people aren't being treated differently um, than others. So we have our profit sharing plan mentioned earlier. Uh, Nucor as a company, we save about 10% of our profits every year. Um, and we want to pay those back out to our teammates in a profit sharing bonus. So it's an annual bonus. Um, part of that bonus is cash. The other part of that bonus goes into our retirement account. We have medical, dental, um, prescription drug coverage. Uh, we just started offering vision coverage, which is great. We have life insurance, LTD, 401k. We have a Roth. Uh, we have a stock purchase program, which is great. We have holiday. Uh, holiday pay, vacation time, uh, service award program. So um, based on uh, every five years of service, uh, teammates get awarded new core stock. At five years of service, you get five shares of stock. 10 years, you get 10 shares. 15 years, you get 15 shares and so on. 
Um, we offer the tuition reimbursement. So that's offered for teammates. Spouses also have a tuition reimbursement program. Um, and then we have a foundation scholarship for our children. Um, so they can get up to $3,500 a year for four years of college. Next slide. Um, so next steps, and I think Paige in the, the chat um, posted some information about that, that job pool link. Um, but I also welcome you guys to go to our corporate site. So it's newcore.com slash careers and really learn more. We have a lot of information about us as a company and our benefits and what it's like to work here. Um, there's also a link where you can um, kind of register to get job alerts. Um, so if it is something that you're interested in, but maybe you don't see something right now or you're not interested in that uh, job pool per se, um, you know, you could sign up online and ask for job alerts to be sent if there's something in sales, maybe or finance or something like that. Um, and then you'll get alerted. Um, on a regular basis when we do have um, openings. And also not just for us here at Berkeley, um, but you can explore openings that we have across the country. So we have um, over 300 locations all across the United States. So there is plenty of opportunity out there um, for those of you looking for something, um, something new, different, or something after graduation. And that might be it, yeah. Yep. So that's the end of the PowerPoint and really kind of the, the end of, uh, you know, our, our pitch to you guys of why, why should we join the new team. But 